Hey guys, Jenga here. Welcome to another dev vlog. Today we're looking at the IL-28SH, which stands for Sturmovik, uh, the Soviet Rocketeer, they call it. This is a fighter bomber version of the IL-28 and uh, it has a shit ton of armament. Let's take a look at her, shall we? Like I said, the uh, IL-28SH is an experimental attack version of the regular IL-28 developed in the late 60s as a replacement to the MiG-15 in its fighter bomber role and as a complement to the SU-7 and soon to be flown in the 1.79 Project X patch. In short, it's an assault variant, well, yeah, yeah, up to 3 tons of bomb load, gun pods, and up to 192 unguided rockets. That's a shit ton of rockets, man. Absolutely insane. Let's see a little bit of history here. Development work on the SH began in 1967 uh, when it came clear that the main fighter bomber of the Soviet Air Force, the MiG 15, had insufficient combat loads. As a result of this, they were looking at um, refitting, converting some of the IL-28 bombers into a tech aircraft. This resulted in the creation of this aircraft and was the original IL-28 was modified to uh, fit 12 external pylons uh, for all kinds of different ordnance, ranging from rockets, gun pods and additional bombs. Testing the modified machine began in autumn of 1967, showing some positive results. However, the way the Soviet High Command envisioned the use of the aircraft as an attacker contradicted some of the design choices, uh, which was initially intended as a bomber. To fully utilize this uh, destructive power of the expanded pylons and all that, yes, the uh, IL-28 was supposed to fly at low to extremely low altitudes, going as low as 60 meters, which meant that the crews actually had to be specially trained to acquire the necessary skills to actually fly a jet plane that low. Biggest advantage of this kind of low flying uh, offered was excellent visibility for both the pilot and the bombardier, as well as allowing the aircraft to be operated from frontline airfields. But nonetheless, testing also showed that the uh, SH wasn't without its flaws, it didn't have sufficient armor protection to be used in this kind of role and the risk of losing the crew in an emergency situation was far greater than usual. These drawbacks ultimately led to the uh, SH being classified as unsuitable for the attack aircraft role and the project was shut down soon afterward. Of the 70 planned refittings, only a handful was actually changed into this SH version. So we're going to get a plane in war tender that didn't really make it in the end as an attack fighter, as an attack fighter. This is going to be interesting. Let's see if in war tender itself this plane has enough armor to withstand punishment from AA guns. I'm curious to see. They will look almost exactly the same, but uh, you should not be deceived. They say here out of the box they are exactly the same. This is unsurprising at best when considering that the ILSH comes from the IL-28. But when you take a look at the modification tab, it is here where you will realize that you are actually looking at a different aircraft. It has lots of ordnance. It has 12 additional pylons, which can carry a vast amount of secondary weaponry such as rocket pods. With 192 rockets, this is an insane amount, and that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Bombs, and in addition to the payloads found in the internal bomb bay. Well, here they go into how it's fully loaded. It looks very impressive with all the weaponry, which is quite nice, and you can always select to customize uh, the offensive armament in a way that you like. And you will have a chance to choose between the rockets, the bombs of different caliber, 23 millimeter gun points, and much more, of course. This is only taken into account the external pylons, 
the IL-28-8 didn't have to sacrifice its internal bomb bay in order to mount all of the additional secondary weaponry. This means that in addition to all the extra explosive hardware mounted under the wings, pilots will still retain some familiar internal bomb loads of the IL-28. Adding to the destructive power of the aircraft, however, it's worth mentioning that whichever secondary weapon preset is chosen by the pilot, none of them exceeds the IL-28 maximum payload of 3 tons. So, they want to keep the IL-28 viable, and thus the bomb load will always be less than the original IL-28. So, well, that's good, I guess, uh, that keeps the IL-28 viable to use as a bomber. But this plane will definitely be interesting with all these weapons. Uh, the, the effect of on the bases and stuff like that as an attacker will be interesting though. As a lot more ordnance will be able to be thrown on bases and how quick will matches end with this plane being added. That is going to be interesting. Maybe guys you will have actually have to look at the amount of vehicles on the map and such because maybe... A plane like this with uh, the amount of ordnance it has might be able to, uh, you know, make matches go a lot quicker. I'm interested to see what the 192 rockets, unguided rockets will be. The uh, F4U in the test server already had uh, the capability of destroying two and a half bases, I believe. I heard people say. And uh, these are even more rockets than on the F4U7, so... How many bases can this thing destroy alone? And what consequences will that have for the length of the matches? That's uh, something we'll have to find out. We're going to have to find out if this thing will be intercepted before then a lot. Or if it is indeed going to be a mission changer. A, a game changer in that sense. We'll see and we'll also see if it is the case. How Gaijin will respond to this extra weaponry in game. Base health. And the uh, amount of vehicles in columns and stuff like that might have to be adjusted. The more of these kind of extreme unguided rocket loads we're going to see in the game. We already see a few of them with the, um, with the Fury, the French Corsair and this one being added to the game. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm enthusiastic about these planes but I also have a tickling sense in the back of my mind. What kind of effect will this have? on the length of matches. Let me know what you think guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode and we'll see this plane when it comes out. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment. And if you really feel like helping out today, Make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.